Well, there is a long history of solar energy being used, either uh, consciously or unconsciously. When someone uh, aligns their house and puts windows in, they're using solar energy or uh, ignoring solar energy in their design. So there's lots of uh, archaeological evidence for uh, ancient people aligning their homes to take advantage of the warm sun in the, in the summer and shading areas that uh, uh, would uh, uh, be too hot unless they had uh, some way to release the heat and with a lower sun angle in the winter you can get areas uh, heated that wouldn't be heated with a steeper sun angle in the summer. Uh, there are a number of countries, notably Israel and Japan, which have had long histories of solar water heating and other technologies because they ha their energy short and don't have alternatives. Uh, I have a lot of respect for uh, Ralph Nader's work and his perspective, uh, and I uh, do agree that it's the nuclear energy industry that has pushed the technology and it's the uh, utility regulators, the elected officials who decide whether the cost of energy can be put into rate bases, they're the ones that stopped nuclear power in the 70s because it was too expensive. It was the most expensive way to boil water. It's only getting more expensive. And so it fails on a cost test. There are economic issues that override the environmental concerns. And uh, I think that that's why nuclear power remains a pipe dream, but when it comes to actually getting it off the wish list and onto the uh, construction list, uh, there's not enough money lying around and people don't want to invest in it. That's why the 500 reactors proposed wound up being only 109 built. Uh, right now, there's still talk of a nuclear renaissance, but I think in reality the new uh, fleet of nuclear reactors is going to be very small compared to the existing fleet because it's so expensive, because the federal government doesn't have the money available to uh, bankroll nuclear power like it did in the uh, 70s, and because there's other alternatives that are much, much cheaper, don't rely on fuel cost, and are more sustainable in terms of their ability to generate energy over the long term. So I think that uh, that equation of uh, uh, the 50s where nuclear power may have out uh, politicked solar, that may be changing because of the, the uh, price burden that nuclear power presents compared to solar and wind which are low cost to build and low cost to operate.